What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tash. I'm back with another video. This video is about the Surface Duo 2 and the Pixel Fold. I'm going to be doing a light comparison on the two. Let me slide on there. Okay. Surface Duo 2. Pixel Fold. Both foldable devices. One Duo 360. One opens and closes. Preferably, I prefer the Surface Duo 2 because it does a 360 and the Pixel Fold just opens and closes. You've got your front screen. The Surface Duo 2 doesn't have a front screen, it just has a Microsoft logo and a camera in the back. When you open it, it'll go to work. Of course, you guys know that. It's been out for like two years. Surface, I mean the Pixel Fold, outer screen, inner screen, camera in the back. If you want to know uh, where I got this case from on the Pixel Fold, let me know in the comments. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, both foldable phones, truly foldable, not truly foldable. Microsoft has a gap on the screen. Of course, you guys know that. Pixel is like a flex. It doesn't quite fold back all the way. You got to kind of push it down just slightly. Not a big deal. So we just go do a uh, comparison or two and go from there. Hopefully my head not in the screen. If not, or if so, then I'll just be doing another video. But anyway, Surface do two pixel fold. Like I said uh, before, Microsoft screens are not truly foldable. But one thing I can say, I like the whiteness of the screen over the whiteness of the pixel folds inner screen. As you can see, pixel fold screen is white. But the Surface Duo 2 screen is wider. My SIM is currently in this device. Go ahead and power it on. Go ahead and power this on. It's not really a comparison as far as like speeds and all like that. Just showing you guys they both work. Just that simple. I'm enrolled in a beta program on uh, the Pixel Fold. Big Browns fans, and it's the servers doing too. Same type of setup, you know. Kind of similar, you know. Look at things like that. Kind of similar. Protect this off screen. Go ahead and uh, put my password in. Okay. Let's go with that one. Now, since this one's folded open, I'm going to go ahead and fold this one open. We want more. Let's go Browns. Okay. Now, obviously, what you see is the crease down the middle. What I see when I look at it, I see a crease down the middle. Don't get me wrong. Let me go ahead and put this in uh, Do Not Disturb mode. I see a crease in the middle, but at the same time, I see that Microsoft had an idea that was before its time. Because you can take one picture and make it like it's two different pictures. But this is actually, sorry about that. This is actually one picture. That the screen itself made it seem like it was two. Okay. The Pixel Fold, what they do, it's one screen, the traditional, one screen, foldable. So one picture is just one picture. Nothing against that, it's still a good thing. But when it comes to certain things, it just, it's 
Some things on here you can do that you can't do on here, and vice versa, obviously. To make this more similar to this, you can simply take two pictures, put them together, then put them on here and make it seem like it's the same thing on here. But overall, what I like better overall is the surface door too overall because the wideness of the screen. I can't get over that. The wideness of the screen is just so... And then the placement of the buttons is more convenient too. The placement of them, well, the buttons on the Pixel Fold, the volume button is at the bottom. And then the, the fingerprint or power button on the Pixel Fold is at the top. And on the uh, Surface Duo 2, it's right here where your thumb will rest, where it's supposed to be. The volume button's up here. Surface Duo 2, like I said, is up here, down here. And so it'd be cases where I don't think I'm trying to unlock the device with my finger. I gotta, basically got to push on it on the power button to get it to work. Close it back out. On this one, I can close it and I just rest my finger on it. I ain't got to push it. It just unlocks. That's it. Just rest on it. It unlocks. I don't got to push on it and go and do nothing disturb on this one too. Got a lot of activity coming in. Yeah, push the button, I like it. Put your finger on it, rest it, you don't have to push it. Pixel fold, it seems like unless there's something in the settings, you gotta have it at a certain angle, then I didn't push it. It's like it gotta be like it's different, like it gotta be on the side almost, instead of all the way on the button. You see it's not doing nothing. I'm going up and down on it, it's not doing anything. But then I push it and hold it like well, you know, like then. Might be in the summer in the 70s.